All right, guys, welcome back to the part two of this tutorial of how to make your own social media website. Now, there is of a bit of a site problem. So you guys see how in the last video we uploaded an OSSN, but this one says OSSN dash version 5.3, blah, blah, blah. Um, you guys do need to do a quick change. So what happened is when I tried to go open the file that we downloaded, it didn't work. Um, so if it works for you guys, that's fine. You guys can skip ahead a few minutes. Uh, but for those of you that that's not working, oh, you need to delete the file. So you just left click, you hit delete, right? And then you need to look up open source social network.org and you need to re-download it, um, download the OSSN. Um, and once you download it, what you need to do is you need to first unzip the file. Okay, and after you unzip the file, then upload that unzip file back into the file manager and you should be good to go. Okay, um, I started actually recording this video and I found that issue. I'll put the clip at the end if you guys want to see it. I just hit reload a bunch of times and it wasn't working. Uh, but I don't know why um, it was like that. Maybe something changed between you know today and a few days ago, but that's what we got to do. So once you guys are done, um, you guys can then start with this next part. Uh, first, you go to back to your, um, you know, your manager area, and you click on, you know, your website at the bottom. It should be in a tab called domain names. Okay, so you just click on it, and it's gonna open a directory listing with OSSN there. You click on that, and you're in a parent directory, you click on OSSN again. All right, now for me, there's a chance that you might have one of these things, um, you know, red because you don't have them. Um, usually you should be good. The thing that I didn't have was PHP zip archive enabled uh, when I first did this. And you can look this up, but you just go here. You go to file, um, not file manager, sorry, you go to control panel and there's, there's an area, I believe if you go down to one second, it's, I believe it's, it will select PHP version or alter the PHP configuration. There's tutorials online. I can put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, if you get that, then you just need to come here and choose one of these and it takes about five minutes to fix. So you guys will be fine. Okay, but anyway, let's go back here. So perfect. We have installed the OSSN. It's working perfectly. Next. All right. So there's all this stuff, you know, telling you that you can't do a bunch of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. If you want to read through it, read through it. But yeah, just don't do anything stupid with it. All right, next part. Okay, so first, you go back to the file manager. Okay, a quick explanation, but basically, all data that comes in, all right, someone signs up, needs to be stored somewhere, right? Because that person needs to be able to log in with that same data and it needs to be able to match the username, password, and store that kind of things. So thank God for this, Infinity Free is amazing because it lets us do this for free. What you do is you see this MySQL area, right? We need to create a MySQL table. So you go to control panel, and scroll down, boom, you see my SQL databases. Click on that. All right, so currently we have 400 free available databases. We will only need one. Okay, so what you go is to go to new database and you just type in OSSN and you create this database. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, we have all of this data right here and not data, but like this, this, this information that we need to then enter back into the OSSN. Okay, now we got to go back to the MySQL area. We have the database name. So you copy this, you paste it into database name. Then you go to database user. Uh, this is the username, boom, boom. Backspace, yeah, make sure there's no spaces, that kind of thing. 
my perfect database password. Um, this is a password that you set for your panel. You can go here and you can click show slash hide. Um, now I forgot my password, so I'm gonna run out the screen real fast and I need to look at the password. All right, we are back. Yeah, so it might not be the password you set before, but that password is what you need to use for the database. And then lastly, we have database host, just right here. All right, the website name, we're gonna name this Tutorials 101. And I'm going to put my other email. Perfect. You need to do nothing here. And then the last thing that you guys have to do is go here, go all the way to the side, make sure you put OSSN underscore data slash. Okay. I don't know if you need a slash, but I put it there. And then go back to your file manager and right click and make a new folder. Name this folder OSSN underscore data and hit OK. You should get the folder. So we're going to go back here and all this information can be filled out and we're going to install. Uh, it's taking a minute. Let's see what happens. Boom. Perfect. We are in. Let's go. That's honestly probably the step that took me the longest to figure out to make the database. I'll make sure to name it OSSN. I think it would work otherwise, but that's just what worked for me. And I think everyone can do that uh, unless you're using another hosting platform. And then, yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is your admin account. Okay. So Arian, Gandhi, um, my email, we're going to go with one re enter it username is going to be tutorial man one and the password is going to be oh yeah okay <laughs> i'm gonna block it out real quick okay you guys can't see the password um we'll meet up again after we hit the create button so just say your birthday say your gender and we'll continue Okay, so now um, you hit the finish button and you've come to this screen. Okay, on this screen, you have to enter your username. So mine was tutorialman101, and then you enter your password. Boom, we log in. We are in, guys. We have made it. Okay, so we are in the open source social network. Um, and now it's time to get started creating your website. Uh, let me show you something. If you go to my website, tutorial for you, whatever your domain name is, and I take off all of that, um, click here, and you put OSSN, you guys get website and you can go here you can log out and voila it's the login page i know mine is very different in my actor website which we can see right now okay and so as you can see um background everything um so we are going to get started with the edits okay so for the first edit that we are going to do that I'm going to cover in this video, okay, it's going to be editing the background image. I think a lot of people want to start there. And I think that that is definitely uh, the best place to start as well as the logo and the Favicon, which is this thing up here. You see how mine is the bird editing that too. Okay. So we'll cover those three in this video. So let's get started. What you want to do is you want to go back to your file manager and you want to go to OSSM. Uh, there we go. OK, 
Okay, once you're in OSSN, you want to go down and you want to go to themes. Okay, and you can go blue and you want to click on images. And then here we have background JPG, favicon, logo, etc. Okay, what you need to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do the background and then you guys will be on your own for the logo and the favicon. Um, but let me know if you need any help. A tip about the favicon is that you can use your JPG file, look up JPG to favicon, and you can do that and download that and then upload it as the same type of file. I cannot stress that enough or it'll mess everything up. Make sure it's the same file. Okay. But so for the background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Unsplash, right? Beautiful free images. And I'm going to go COVID 19. And we are going to choose this picture. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to download it free and it saves download it in uh, open it up rename it right i named mine background you have to name background jpg and once that is done we want to go back to the file manager and right here right click and delete boom it's deleted okay if we were to go back to our website and refresh Oh, nothing happens because here's another important tip. You got to come down to site settings, go to cache. Hmm. Can you give it one? I think it might be because I logged out. Hold up. Uh, we do need to go back to the. Yeah, I'll just go My website terminals. Boom. Hmm. Okay, gotta log in again. This is a bit of a pain, but it's not bad. You better make sure that you stay logged in. You come here, go to administrator, and we should be good to go with the settings. Perfect. Okay, hit save on this. Wait, so it's just that. I'm gonna go back to my tutorial. Um, this time, yeah, but log out and boom, the background image is white. Yeah, I know there's a lot of work to show you that. I just want to show you guys what it does. Okay, so then go up here, click upload file, then I have my 3D objects. Boom, background.jpg is uploading. All right, and while this is saving or enabling, sorry, um, what I want to ask you guys is if you guys know someone who has some free time on their hands or is struggling at a time like this, please share with them these videos because what I'm going to do is over the next couple of weeks, I'm also going to work on videos on how to make money from an open source social network. And so the earlier that you start to build um, your network, then the larger it'll get and the more money that you can make from these networks and think about facebook think about i'm not saying that you're going to be a billionaire but you know it's a really really good potential for side income uh that you can make especially if you make the right type of social network and you know what and how to do what you're doing so please let people know uh, and have them check it out so you guys can learn from my mistakes and things i did right and Kind of get a fast track on creating your own social network as well as a bit of insight and just some tricks and things that i've learned also if you like these videos please like subscribe and comment uh, because that would help more people see the videos and that's why i'm making these right now okay so please let people know show it to people and subscribe so you don't miss uh the videos on how to make money from the network because i know that's what most of people want from this type of network um, so yeah, so make sure you subscribe and we'll go on. So the cache, the cache has been enabled and we just gotta go here, the link in your tab and start the home from the home and log out. And boom, our picture is the old man. It takes a little bit to look, so that's a bit slow, but 
it's a picture of not old man. Sorry, it's a picture of the guy um, who was on his phone. All right, so texting someone, but that is the tutorial for today. Uh, in the next one, what I'm going to be covering is sort of how to. You guys figure out how to change this. Sort of how to change button colors. You know, right here in this image, this text is covered. How to change this text. Uh, change the text color. Change these logos or not logos, but pictures, and start formatting your front page to make it really nice. Okay, once you're in this area, right, you see you should only have one thing here. It doesn't harm to have the other two, but I prefer to delete it. Um, so you should have just OSSN and you click on this. All right, and then lastly, what we have to do is you have this. Right here, just add a slash, OSSN, and I buy another slash, and hit install. And then to also start formatting your front page much better. So thank you so much for paying attention, or not paying attention, but coming to today's tutorial. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you guys a lot. All right, so can't wait to see you guys in the next tutorial. Let's make an amazing social media website. Mark Zuckerberg doesn't get everything. All right, see you guys later, and have a good day.